Hello food lovers, today I have for you a beautiful cashew and raisin rice pilaf recipe. Now this is my mom's recipe and I grew up eating it and I just love it. So let's get started. I'm using one cup of rice. I have thoroughly washed the rice and then soaked it in water for 20 minutes and then drained it and set it aside. This is a very important step for this recipe so please do not skip it. I will start off with roasting the cashew nuts. So to a heated pan, add 1 4th cup of cashew nuts. Roast it for 2-3 to three minutes on high heat. Make sure to stir in between so you do not burn the cashews. We are doing this to get the rawness out of the cashew nuts. Now this looks nicely roasted, so I will go ahead and remove it from the pan. Now to the same pan, add one and a half tablespoons of cooking oil. At this point, reduce the heat to medium. In goes one cup of finely sliced onion. Fry the onion until it's softened and translucent for about two to three minutes on medium to medium high heat. Please note that we are not trying to caramelize the onion. The onion is nicely softened and translucent. So I will go ahead and add half an inch of minced ginger, three cloves of minced garlic, two sliced green chilies. Now this is completely optional. If you do not like your food spicy, just skip this. You can also use cayenne pepper or chili flakes if you prefer. Half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, half a teaspoon of garam masala powder, half a teaspoon of salt, Mix it all well. Now cook all these spices by stirring it continuously for a minute or so on medium heat. To this add the soaked rice. Give it a good mix. In goes one and a half cup of water. Give it a gentle mix. So the proportion is one and a half cup of water for one cup of soaked rice. Now this will give you a perfect fluffy rice. Now let the water come to a boil. It will take about two to three minutes. The water has started to boil rigorously. So at this point, reduce the heat to the lowest point on your stove and then cover it and cook it for 10 minutes. It's been 10 minutes and the rice looks beautifully cooked. To this, I will add 1 4th cup of roasted cashew nuts, 1 4th cup of raisins, now you can use any raisins of your choice. I'm using Sultana raisins here. You can go ahead and use golden raisins. Give it a really gentle mix because rice is so soft at this point and we do not want to break it. At this point, turn off the heat and let this rest uncovered for two to three minutes because we want to get rid of the extra moisture. Cover it and set it aside. And there you go. Cashew nut and raisin rice pilaf, all done and ready to eat. 